Airports may be returning to normal after all the trouble this week, but some airlines are struggling to clear the backlog of cancelled flights. As we saw on Rookies last night, a choir from Cambridge is stuck in America. And today, another choir in limbo, this time stranded here, unable to return home to South Africa. Ian Damazi High School Choir has been bringing a flavour of the Eastern Cape to audiences across Cambridgeshire. They were supposed to leave their hosts at Hills Road Sixth Form College at the weekend, but their flight from Heathrow was cancelled. A one-week stay has become two weeks. Have you had a great time here? Yes, indeed, with the ball. I mean, the last week we, we had some fun, everything it was just amazing, it was sublime. And you've been staying with local families? Indeed, we have, and we have experience, English culture and everything else. Now we come back home with the rich experience in terms of as far as English culture is concerned. This has been a wonderful time for myself and the rest of the group. We've had very new good experiences here. I feel so terrible not getting home because my parents miss me and I miss them. Yeah. Meanwhile, more than 40 members of Jesus College Choir are still singing Christmas carols on the other side of the Atlantic. 11-year-old Orlando Hodgson should have returned from Washington with the rest of the choir on Monday. Tonight, the college says it hopes they'll be back on Christmas Eve. His brothers and sisters are really missing him at the end of a 10-day tour, so they're very tired and they've worked very hard and travelled a lot and they really need to come home. 14-year-old Hannah Danbury from St. Ippolitz in Hertfordshire should have returned from a school skiing trip to Vermont. She and 30 girls from St. Francis College, Letchworth, have twice had flights cancelled. She's with a couple of close friends, so they were you know, getting together and you know, they're still very upset, but they were you know, making the best of it. But the, the first part of it, the first cancellation, was an adventure, and it's beyond the adventure stage now. And they really do desperately want to get home. Good news tonight for the Undamazi Choir. This afternoon, South African Airways found them 20 seats on a flight to Johannesburg this evening. Now they will be home for Christmas. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, Cambridge. Great time. Fantastic, yeah. Thanks again to all of you who've been in touch this week, telling us how you've been affected by the weather. Keep those calls and emails coming.